Hi guys, I hope you're okay. Welcome to day five of Vlogmas. It is Thursday the 4th of December and I don't have a lot planned once again. To be honest, I'm kind of feeling a little bit rubbish today. I had a lot of sleep, like more sleep than I think I've had in months and months and months and months. But I'm just feeling quite low. So to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to do a full day's vlog today or whether I'm just going to make it into a day five and six vlogmas because I don't want to really fake a smile today. I know that sounds a bit uh -huh, but I'm just not feeling like the most happy person in the world. Um, it's kind of sprung on me that work is getting closer and closer and closer and it's making me feel really anxious and worried and just horrible. Um, this time last year I was obviously pregnant with Harrison and I had kind of just gone over feeling like this about being anxious about having Harrison and whether I'd be a good mum and whether I'd be able to afford having a baby and all that stuff and now I'm feeling the same about a whole load of other things. I'm now starting to think maybe it's the weather and whether it's just this time of year that makes me feel a little bit low. Um, I know that happens to people so maybe that kind of is a contributing factor but I don't know. I'm just feeling a little bit rubbish today, I'm a little bit sorry for myself and so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to step out of it or not so I don't want to force a vlog. Um, and force a whole load of chirpy happy things because yesterday's was kind of boring. I don't want vlogmas to be a miserable thing so I might just film a few things that we and Harrison get up to. Maybe if Harrison decides to be super cute today I will film that but otherwise I might just compile this into a two day vlog. Um, I might not, we'll see how it goes but as it stands that's kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah, I need to go and dry my hair. I might pop out because I need to get a couple of Christmas presents and I might actually start making my Christmas cards this evening. I was going to do it last night, but I didn't get around to it. Harrison's trying his very best to cheer me up and I must admit it's working. Say hello! I cry and it's definitely true when they say that once you cry you feel a hell of a lot better. I do feel a lot better now and that is good because now I can get on with my day. Um, I've had my moment, I've dried my hair and now it's time to make Harrison a bottle and myself a cup of coffee. There's honestly no reason in putting a whole downer on your day over things that may or may not even happen. I need to have more of a positive attitude and yeah, I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to get on with my day because what's the point in moping about, really? Um, I'm a big believer in things happening for a reason and that everything will work out. So I'm sure that everything will and whatever. I'm just going to get on with my day and stop being a miserable cow. I have moved from the dining table into the living room to continue making my cards. But for the last hour I have been catching up with Vlogmases. I am loving watching other people's vlogs. Honestly, Vlogmas is so perfect for me because I adore watching vlogs. I so much prefer to watch a vlog as opposed to a beauty video or a fashion video, which I never thought I would say because I used to love, love, love watching beauty videos. but. I think I'm so nosy and yeah, I think that's the reason why I love people like the Sakoni Jolies because daily vlogging is just something for me to turn and watch every single day and Harrison and I, Harrison and I have spent the last hour watching them. I would love, love, love to know if you are doing Vlogmas too. Do make sure you comment below if you are because I would love to watch them. There's always room for more. <laughs> morning guys so welcome to day five of vlogmas i have woken up with a cold and harrison had me up at the crack of dawn <coughs> no. 
no, no, no. <laughs> Today has been an insane day. Harrison had me up at the crack of dawn. He had me up before six and screamed for a good, a good three and a half hours, I think. Um, like full on screaming. Oh, I just can't. Um, but fortunately, he went for a nap with me and we woke up three and a half hours later. So I'm guessing that three and a half hours that he screamed, he wanted to make up for. So I am so, so grateful for that. And, oh, Harrison, if you're watching this in future years, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love you. I'm just getting ready now to go out to the cinema with my dad. We're having a Friday trip to the cinema. How cool are we? Um, we're going to see The Hunger Games. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm really excited about getting an ice blast too which is probably lame but if you know me then you know that I love my orange ice blast and since Tango released that orange one I've been a happy 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 girl so yeah I'm looking forward to just that. taking a call from work which after my mood yesterday in regards to work I'm sure you can imagine how that's made me feel oh great timing Harrison is screaming once again and I feel like I'm losing my mind there's nothing wrong with him and I feel like watching this you might be like well just pick him up or he needs a hug or he needs a cuddle. No, he's just being so, so clingy. And the second I put him down, he screams. And literally, if I pick him up, he's fine and laughing. There's nothing wrong with him. And he needs to snap out of this because he needs to learn that he can't just be picked up whenever he cries. And it's so, so difficult. It really is because obviously I want to pick him up and comfort him. As a mum, your natural instinct is to pick them up and cuddle them and comfort them. But... He is going through a little face. So heavy, like, this boy is very, very heavy and my back is in pieces. Um, but yeah, he needs to learn that he can't just be picked up and it's so, so difficult. But I have to just leave him for five minutes to cry because otherwise he'll never learn and he'll literally think, oh, I want to be picked up now, scream, scream, scream. Um, oh. So I am just heading over to my mum and dad's house now and um, Harrison and I are actually going there for a sleepover this evening although by the amount of stuff I have you'd think we're going there for a week um, we are just staying there for one night because Mike is out this evening for I believe a work leaving do or something so I thought rather than me and Harrison be indoors by ourselves tonight and then maybe get disturbed when Mike comes in that we would go to my mum and dad and I'll benefit from having two spare pairs of hands and lots of food and lots of cups of tea and time to blog and hopefully a bubble bath. Um, I've probably got really high expectations of this evening and in reality we'll probably end up back at home because Harrison will start screaming. Um, just as he is now, your hat's fallen in your eyes. Boo! Boo! Um, yeah, I'm not putting my mum and dad through screaming, so here's hoping that he is well behaved because I'm really, really looking forward to staying in my old bedroom. We are going to see Hunger Games and I'm really looking forward to it. I've really enjoyed the previous two, um, so I'm hoping that this one is just as good. I've heard it's incredible, so hopefully it is. I'm going to go because Harrison is, as you can tell, screaming. excited to paint my nails this evening I think I'm gonna to have to go with this color which is called Montpellier walk and how fancy is the new nails ink packaging sorry if I blinded you so I am back vlogging in this background which is at my mum and dad's house and we are having a sleepover Let's put up the Christmas tree well, my mum has and Harrison sort of touched. I also went to the cinema with my dad and it was so good. I absolutely loved the film. Um, I highly, highly recommend you going to see Mockingjay if you are a fan of the Hunger Games books. Actually, the movies, because I haven't even read the books. Um, although I might read it now because I'm desperate to find out what happens in part two. Um, yeah, I am hooked. It was so good and I'm so pleased we went to see it. Harrison is in bed in my old bedroom and yeah, I'm so pleased I can just now relax. Um, 
but yeah thank you so so much for watching and sorry that the last vlog was really boring and that this vlog is two days combined um i said that it might happen like that and unfortunately it happened in the first week but anyway um i would be super super grateful if you give me a little thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already honestly every single subscriber and every single view means the world to me like i'm constantly checking to see and refreshing to see how many views i've had and how many thumbs up and stuff and it really does mean the world to me i'm not just saying it like it means so much to me i never even thought that i would get a single view so and i know that i can be moany and whatever but most mums are let's face it and i just document me being moany so yeah anyway thank you again and i will see you tomorrow bye